So we're going to set up the, or actually attempt to set up the Golden Triangle with Mountain Lion and Actor Directory. Uh, we're going to go through some of the steps uh, I've used in the past for older um, versions of uh, Mac OS server. So we're going to see how it works with uh, Mountain Lion. One of the first things we need to do is make sure DNS is working and communicating correctly. So if I switch over to my Mac server, wow, the screen resolution is really, really crazy here. Let's see if we can't scale it down a bit. There we go. All right, that's a little better. So what we're going to have to do is we take a look at system preferences. We want to take a look at the network settings. And we can see that our IP address is 20.102, and it's using DHCP. We're going to have to change that and use static IP address. So we're going to change this to manual and type in the IP address 22.168.20.102. 12 for server number two and using the correct router and DNS server this is important the DNS server is the uh, IP address of our Active Directory server so you have to set up your Mountain Lion server to use your Active Directory server that has DNS running on it and make sure that the search domains are is using the correct Active Directory fully qualified domain name of the actual domain that we have running. When that's all done, hit apply. And now we need to, oh, we lost our DNS server and search domains. We're gonna have to go into advanced and make that setting change. So we're gonna add DNS server. And a search domain. There we go. Now that information is applied. Now we need to switch over to our Active Directory server and create our A records and our reverse records, reverse lookup records for DNS. Switch over. Here we are in our Active Directory. We're going to click on DNS. And for our forward lookup zones, we have our Active Directory integrated forward lookup zone. And we have our server one. Now we're going to be creating a new host record. I'm just going to right click, select new host record, type in server02, and the IP address. And create associated pointer record. That is the reverse record. And pointer can't be created because the zone doesn't exist. So we need to go and create these two records, server one and server two records, in our reverse lookup. So we're going to click on reverse lookup zones now and add a new zone. Right click, new zone. Hit next. We're going to be a primary DNS. So we're going to pretty much select default on all of these options. And the network ID is our 182.168.20 network. And lots of secure updates between multiple DNS servers if we happen to have them. And if we look in here, we're going to now need to go to our forward lookup zone and update the pointer records, the PTR records, so they populate the information in here. I click, yeah, they're not there. So we're gonna go over here, server one. Hit OK. And server two, uncheck and check and hit OK. And hit refresh and they should show up. Alright, so now that we have DNS updated correctly, we need to make sure that there we can resolve the names and they point to the correct IP address. We're going to switch over to our <coughs> Mac server. On our Mac server, we are now going to open up a terminal prompt and type a few commands. 
first command is going to be make sure I can ping the domain name and I can, I can resolve it uh, make sure I can ping and do resolve of the IP address where the domain controller is running and should be able to have one A record per primary domain controller. Next thing I want to do is check to make sure that the IP address for this server, host server 02.advancenet.net exists and has address here. I'm going to repeat that same command but for server 1 and make sure it only has one A record as well. So we're good there. So again, we ping the domain. Um, next, we did use the host command, which is like using NSLOOKUP for server 2. And we got 1A record as an answer. And we did a host, which is like NSLOOKUP for server 1. And we got the IP address for server 1. So I'm going to clear the screen. And the last command we're going to do to verify that we have network connectivity and IP address and DNS working correctly is the change IP dash check host name. And the change IP command doesn't appear to be there anymore. Yeah, change IP is not there any longer, so we're not able to verify it with the old change IP command. Okay. After we're done with this, then we can uh, move on to the next step, and that's installing the server app. Um, I'm fairly certain I copied the server app over to my applications, and there it is right there. So we're going to run the server app. You need to purchase the server app at the um, App Store. And you can see that I have OSX server. It was purchased on Apple. I'm not going to update it yet. I'm just going to do the install and I'll update it later. So I'm going to double click on the server app and it should go through the process of setting up our server. I continue. Agree. Type in my password. Computer name. We'll name this server02. That's the correct host name. The network address is correct. Make sure it's the fully qualified host name. Next. And hit next. We don't want any kind of uh, push alerts. So we're going to skip that part. All this. Uh, installation is doing is adding the services to our server but it's not going to configure the services we're going to have to do each one of those independently